and it's been very depressing. I feel more confident than I ever have. Keep you pee new in my mind with a new baby. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. What's up, my school, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today, we are in the gym, we're in the gym, we're in the gym. We don't want to be fat no more, we want to be a little slim. You know, just tone it down. But y'all, I have not been in the gym for about two weeks now. And it's been very depressing. I can tell you that, like, going from working out almost every other day to not working out for almost two weeks, it was very depressing. It was constantly scared every time I ate. And that just gave me confirmation that I really am changing my lifestyle and being more conscious of the type of food that I eat. So I'm happy about that. But my mom, she hasn't been in my house in about two weeks. And also, I just got really irritated with the at home workout so i got something new to kind of spice it up a little bit i'll show y'all that in another video but yeah this is day three vlogmas 2023 so we started it off in the gym okay <laughs> stabilize it it's gonna help that food for that mom belly especially to tighten on up okay have i seen results since i've been doing that every time i most definitely look different like compared to where i came from my body i just feel like i'm getting back to where i was before i even had kids so i'm grateful for that i feel more confident than I ever have. And I've been smaller than this. It's not because I lost weight, it's because I've gotten in tune with my body and because of the progress I made, it made me love myself more. Like the fact that I made it this far. <laughs> Please know, if it hurts, take a break. Your, your muscles will eventually get used to it. They have to get back in motion. Especially because when we, like, as a mom, we use our arms a lot anyway. We can have our kids. But sometimes it can really hurt. Don't pressure yourself. If you feel like you need a break, take a break. Something is always better than nothing. Without headphones, so I just gotta move to the music. This is one thing we not bringing into 2024, and that's laziness. As a stay-at-home mom, I have definitely had my days of laziness, but laziness is not pleasing to God. But you know, you have to get stuff done, and you choose not to. That's being disobedient to God. So that's one way to try to convince yourself to do it. That don't mean do everything in one day. It just means be intentional. If you know you have to clean the house, that don't mean clean the whole house in a day. That's not unpleasing to God to clean certain things separately. Like making a schedule 
and I made my schedule for the week. Uh, because I got cleaning to do. But we not doing everything in one day. I'm not doing everything in one day. So, this is my to-do list. Can y'all see? This is my to-do list. It's, it's not really as long as it looks. Cause I just wrote everything down. We not bringing laziness into 2024, y'all. We cannot. We have to do better. It's the plan. Prioritize so you can prosper. PPP. Like PPP loan. You know. Plan it. Figure out what you need to do. Prioritize what's important. So whatever you don't get done, it's okay to wait until tomorrow. And then prosper. You want to prosper. So type it in your phone. Like I be writing stuff on paper, y'all, but honestly, I be losing it. My kids be ripping it up. I just don't keep up with paper like I used to. So, using my phone and my notes, top tier. Top tier. We not using our kids as excuse to not get stuff done no more. We not using our kids as an excuse to not go after our own goals. No. Plan it. Plan what you want to achieve for 2024. Start now. Talk about it. Envision it. Go make your Pinterest board. As long as you start, that's all it takes, y'all. Just start. Okay? Please. Don't worry about it if the time is right. Don't worry about it if you have everything you need. Whatever. Don't do that. As long as it ain't putting you in a crazy position, you know, because if it's sent by God, it's not going to be hard, like that difficult. It's not going to put you in a, like, position where you're regretting it. It's going to put you in a position where, like, I'm going to keep going, no matter how hard it is, even when I don't see the results. And I just want to give y'all that, that encouragement. We done been home, we done showered, we done did a Target curbside shower, because I had to get some batteries for the remote for uh, Evie's, um, Mickey Mouse card that we cannot find all of a sudden that I know I'm gonna find when I start deep cleaning. Anyway, so we about to put this little tree together, y'all. I got everything from Family Dollar because I just happened to walk in there and saw that little stuff. And I'm like, at first I wasn't just gonna do a Christmas tree. Let me tell y'all what, okay? My kids destroy out of all my five years of having children. Every time I put a tree up, it has been destroyed. The ornaments have been taken off, broken, thrown, whatever you could think. They won't stop touching it. It was just constant. And I knew in my mind with a new baby that's one, because she was a baby baby last Christmas, yeah. and now she walking, don't have time for that. So I was like, this little tree, you know what I'm going to use it for the centerpiece for the kitchen table. I thought I'm just going to get it and see what it do, child. So hopefully they don't do too so much damage. Everything was less than, I know less than, uh, $50 for sure. All these ornaments I got from uh, $50. Come through, family dollar. Come through, family dollar. And I got this from Ross. I got this from Ross. Cause it was, and I just happened to see it. My baby's looking for a tree top. But I didn't see nothing with the color. They done already come out and already busted this open. Uh, and the Christmas tree is white, and it was just $10. This is five. This $10. This 10, so 10, 20, 30, 38, 39, 25, 40, 35. Then I got these because we're going to make clusters. We're going to make this little tree with a little booze. So yeah, under $50, just like I said, for everything. Because this was $7.99. $7.99. And so yeah, I ain't going to ask the kids to join me. But if they come to the same I'm going to try to help. I'll let them, okay? So yeah, let's put this tree up and get some uh Christmas, Christmas, uh, uh, what's the word? Spirit up in here, okay?
Thursday. Creep.